QuickBooks Pro Desktop 2021. Report, fonts, and numbers formatting. Let's get into it with Intuit's QuickBooks Pro Desktop 2021. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars practice file. We currently have the open windows open. You can open the open windows by going to the view dropdown, selecting the open windows list. We're going to open up a report, that report being the balance sheet, and take a look at the fonts and numbers formatting, noting that although we're looking at the balance sheet, you could adjust the fonts and numbers in a similar way in most any other report as well. So this will be applicable not only to the balance sheet, but to most, if not all, reports. Reports drop down up top. You can find the balance sheet under the company and financial and down here on the balance sheet standard or you could go into the reports drop down and go into the reports center and look for it in the reports center i'm going to maximize this uh, report center we want to be in the standard tab in the company and financials and then i'll typically go to the lists view because i think that's easier to scroll down and the balance sheet will be under the p and l information so we got to go all the way under all the p and l or income statement type of information so we can get to the balance sheet information and then it seems to reboot on me again. So I'm going to do it again because it took me to the top again. But there it is. We've got the balance sheet. We're going to be running this report, the standard balance sheet report. Changing the dates up top or the date to 12-31-21. There's our standard balance sheet. Now we want to take a look at the fonts and numbers. Now the default fonts and numbers for QuickBooks are pretty good. And so, and I would be careful on how much deviation you're going to do. I'm going to make something that's a little probably kind of grotesque, like not the best looking thing here because I'm not a fonts and numbers expert. But if you are careful with your fonts and numbers, if you do this well, if you know how to mix and match fonts and numbers, like, and you have an eye for it, which I do not, then you customize your reports in such a way that your clients and possibly supervisors or wherever you're working uh, will like them better or if you're making your own reports then make your own reports they'll, they'll appreciate possibly the distinction and the differentiation and you can also differentiate yourselves from the competition by using these features as well but note a little bit goes a long way a little bit of a change goes a long way you don't need to make a drastic change or make the thing really stand up it is a financial statement so it's kind of plain is probably the way you want to have it but if you do some little adjustments to the fonts and numbers again i think that could go a long way once you do so then you can memorize the report so you don't have to do the same adjustments every time so once you've adjusted these fonts and numbers to where you like them and made any other adjustments to your standard report and going forward you believe that you're just going to change the date and you want the same formatting then you go ahead and memorize that port report then you can find that same report that you memorized in your memorized reports up up here and, and then you won't have to adjust the formatting each time and you can have that, that specialization. So let's go into the customized reports. I'm going to go into the fonts and numbers tabs now. Now on the left hand side, it's going to give you the different ways that you can format the report in terms of the line items we're talking about. Are we talking about the, col the column labels, the row labels, the report data, the report uh, totals, the company name, and so on and so forth. On the right hand side, you've got some more kind of standard type of formatting. And then down here, you've got some other changes that you can be doing to the uh, the font and and uh, the type of font and the font size, as well as the font color down here. So you have a pretty good mix of changes for financial statements. <laughs> There's a lot, kind of a lot you can do for, for the financials. This will give you kind of an example of what will be done uh, as you make those changes with these items and the font changes here. Let's start with the right-hand side because these are kind of the more standard type of changes. Note, by default, Negative numbers will be represented with a negative sign within it. So you can see that down here in, say, our accumulated depreciation. You can bracket those negative numbers. I like to do that because I think it stands out. It's a little bit easier to see with the brackets. Uh, you can also have the negative on the, on the uh, other end, on the back end of it. Uh, that, might be, that might be useful or what something is accustomed to depending on your location. Uh, in the U.S., it's probably more standard to have the, the normal view or such as the brackets. I like the brackets. And then you can make them red, and that really makes them stand out. So if you say, okay, then you got those red numbers that really stand out. You're just like, hey, these are negative. So I, I think that can be useful. I don't turn it on for myself all the time, but if I'm going to provide the reports to others, sometimes I'll, I'll start to make that the standard. Then you could also divide by or remove the pennies, I think is the next most useful item. When you're doing decision-making processes, how many pennies are on there, the cents, uh, doesn't really make sense to put on there. It doesn't make sense to put the cents on there because you don't need the cents in order to make sense of the report. So you can remove the cents and still have a, a report that makes sense by checking that off and we'll say, okay, so then the pennies are gone. So I think that's a, a very common, useful item. I think, it, I mean, it 
adds a, a level of clear cleanness to the report, you know, by just doing that one little little thing. And, and I don't think it takes any information away. Now, if you have larger numbers, then you can divide it by a thousand and that'll that'll uh, simplify the report. So you can say, hey, this is in thousands by dividing by a thousand here. And there you have it. Now it's divided by thousands. So you can say, hey, this report is in thousands, which is given up. Now, if I want to give a little bit more detail, notice I could add a decimal by adding the with cents back. If I add with cents back, it's not going to add back pennies, but it's going to give us a decimal point. So if I go to customize reports and go to fonts and numbers, watch that 109. If I, if I add the cents back in, uh, and then I say, okay, it goes from, 10, it goes from 109 to 108.5. So it gives us a little bit more detail there. And then I'm going to go to customize reports. We'll go to the fonts and numbers. I'm going to revert it back to the default. Let's just revert back to the default, say okay. And now we're back to our default settings. So then I'm going to go back to the customized reports, fonts and numbers. And now let's work with these items. These are a little bit more customized time of items. You got, you got to be a little bit more careful. Uh, these are kind of like default settings, which are all pretty, pretty standardized. And you can, you could put these on and take them off pretty easily. So if we go to these items to the right, you could apply a font and number change to basically the entire report. And you could do that by basically going on any one of these labels and then go to change the font. And you can like change the font. You could change the font over here. I'm, and, and I'm not an expert on the types of fonts and whatnot. So I'm not going to get into, you know, what would be the best font or anything like that. But I'm going to then go into the size over here. And then you can change basically any, any color you want. And then if I was to say, okay, then it's going to ask you to change all fonts and numbers or just the one that it's currently on here. So if you just wanted to change this, the whole report, you could pick any of these line items and just say, yeah, the whole thing. Change the whole thing, basically. And then it basically changes the whole thing. I know that's not the prettiest looking thing, but, you know, that would be that. And then if I wanted to go back to the customized report, fonts and numbers, and then I can revert and say, please change that back. Change it back and then say, okay, it's back. All right. Whew. Thought I broke it. Then I'm going to go to the customized reports. I'm going to go to the fonts and numbers. Now you can change basically individual items now. So we've got the, the column labels. You can, of course, experiment. You can guess what the column labels will be and whatnot. But then you can experiment as well to see, to make sure you're, you're identifying the right location. So you got the row labels, your report date, report title. So let's report totals. And then the company name. Let's, let's adjust the company name because that should be pretty straightforward on where that is located. We're going to go to the change fonts and change fonts and we could change the font. Again, I'm not going to tell you which font to, is best, but maybe you just want to make it bigger. Maybe you want to underline it. I want my, the name of the company to be the emphasis here and make it red. So we're going to, the name of the company needs to be red. Okay. So I'm going to say, okay. And then now you don't want to say yes to the everything or it's going to change the whole report again. I just want to change that one specific thing, company name. So I'm going to say no here. It shows us what it's going to look like. And then we're going to say, okay. So now we have this big company name. And so there we have that. And, and so again, you could change particular areas within uh, the text. So you could go to customize reports. Let's go to the fonts and numbers. And now let's take a look at the totals. Let's see if we go to the totals of the reports and change those and emphasize those we'll go we'll go change that one and i want to make the totals uh, you know bolding them in some way make them like a little larger to to 11 and then i'll change the color there and make them blue they're going to be blue all right and then i'm going to say okay and no so it just applies to those categories there's what it looks like i'm going to say okay and so now we have our, our totals of the report standing out now obviously this is not a, you don't want to do it this way because this is kind of ugly but uh, if you do subtle changes like this, then again, I, I think it could be uh, useful. I've seen some very nicely well done reports, not by me, but you know, and then we've got the, uh, the time, the, the report basis. So, so let's do one more. So if we, we want the report subtitle, the report subtitle, I'm going to say we want that one to be like Arial and then like 14 and then, and then we'll make that one uh, green and then okay and so no and then there we have it looks so there we have it so those are just some examples on what you can do so obviously i get a little bit of formatting goes a long way i think even just maybe a little splash of color up top and then changing the fonts making them a little bigger smaller or or whatever font styles you think are best or un or unique or go along with your brand and whatnot can be uh can be useful to do so this is not what to do but this is how to do something that might be worth doing.